Yes. Mondo Duplantis, 6.22 meters in the pole vault. Makes it four years in a row now where he's broken the world record at least once. That's an impressive feat. We always talk about Mondo. What's going to keep him motivated? What's going to keep him going? But you watch this video and you can see it. He's so excited to get this record, as he should. He is not getting bored with world records. Each one, to me, I mean, look at him. Gets him and Renault Laville and have a moment on the mat there. Just a great, great um, scene there out in France. And I think it's got to be exciting knowing if you can PR, there's going to be a party for you every time. <laughs> because there's a lot of pro That's athletes the out there. They'll run a PB. And it'll get mentioned in a broadcast. It'll get mentioned in a tweet, maybe an Instagram post. Maybe we'll bring it up, right? But the whole stadium isn't taking note. They're not drawing all their eyes on you when you're going for a PR in the way Mondo will be from here on out. And I think it's just exciting to see how he's not getting bored of it. He's having so much fun out there. Yeah, I'm trying to – I probably should have done a little more data research here. But I think – I think I have the correct statements here. Yeah, okay. So he has now vaulted 6.22, 6.21, 6.20, 6.19, 6.18, 6.17, 6.16. And that's all the best that's ever been done. So Mm -hmm. the world record before he got into the, when he, before he started, was held by. Renaud Lavillenie. Did I say his last name right? Lavillenie. Mm-hmm. You got there, yeah. From France. He had the world record at 6.16 from 2014. Uh, yeah, or the overall. Overall world record. Indoor, indoor and outdoor. Yeah. 6.16. And now Mondo tied that. Mm-hmm. And then he did 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Mm-hmm. That's six times. Yeah. He's tied it and then broke it six times. This guy, you look at the screw, the the image, he had like a foot over the bar. Yeah, he's now, got I, more room. Now, I get it. Like, it's not just about your peak height because you have to be able to get around it as well. Mm-hmm. And he was very close to hitting it on the way up. Yeah. So that's the real margin is getting close to hitting it on the way up. But he can – he's definitely going to get into the 630s, I think. Mm-hmm. I think he can get at least another 8 centimeters. I think 630 was the discussion a couple of years ago when people were talking about it when he first started – breaking world records. Hey, how high can this guy go? I think a reasonable number just based on his height, his clearances and how young he was, was 630. You know, I don't know. It depends right on health, but it's certainly in the realm of possibility. Very few people get to break world records. An even smaller group get to break it a world record multiple times. And then now he's on this run where he just keeps going and going and going breaking world record after breaking world record. He's in very, very, very elite company. Even Bolt, individually, right? How many times did he break a world record? Four times, right? Or five times, I guess. New York? I don't remember. New York? This, before was, before the Olympics. I wa- this was before I watched track. Yeah, you're not a Bolt historian, no. as we found out this summer. New York? <laughs> Beijing, Beijing. I'm, ca- I'm not counting relays. So New York, Beijing, Beijing, Berlin, Berlin. That was it. That was all. And... Not everybody's event is the same. I understand that. And Mondo has the ability to only break a world record by a centimeter. But just it just goes to show you how few are experiencing what he got to, what he's getting to experience in the sport. Yeah, it's incredible. Again, he now has done six in a row in centimeters. He can probably keep going at another. I think when he's retired, the all-time record books, it may have his name 15 times before you see another pole vaulter, which, which is, is insane. Yeah, considering before him, there was a guy who had that in Sergei Bubka. Yeah. He was the dominant name on on the all-time list. And L- Villainy got in there uh, indoors, but all-time outdoors, it's it's Sergei Bubka, or it was Sergei Bubka and nobody else, and now it's Mondo, 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 Mondo. Um, all right, let's move on. Let's talk about world indoor tour i just love it's like you know what we'll move on a world record but that's how great he is he's now made world records just be like he pr'd yeah i mean again i thought it was cool that he was super excited yeah you it would great it would be great to see a compilation of all the celebrations after world records just to see if you could sense any hint of oh man maybe it's just 
becoming ordinary for him, routine. But that one would stick out. Yeah. When he's hugging Le Villainy on the mat, that one sticks out. There's no sign that he's bummed out. Also, a compilation of which techno songs are playing when Mondo breaks world records. Because I think Party Rockers was in the lead, but it might be supplanted by another song that I'm not aware of. Are Maybe. you up on techno at all? I'm not. Because it seems to be playing at every single European I think it's indoor a European meet. thing. That's yeah. Your, it's European music, though. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we got to figure out the best all-time Mondo record-breaking song. I do, I do like that take, though. That's, a, that's, that's something I would say on the podcast. No, what you're going to do in about three years, you're going to have it broken down. Because he's going to have a list of, you know, he's broken it 25 times or something. 20 times. So you're going to have a nice, um, a, a Spotify list. playlist. The Mondo Spotify well, we world record playlist. Now. Yeah. You should do that. That'll actually. be good. That's good. Okay. I'm glad we continue talking. Okay. Let's go. We stumbled on an actually decent idea.